Welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 and today's suggestion is make Kiwi a good witch and enemies with her mom by Super Pretty Cat. So yeah, I will also I got also many many suggestions to change the way Kiwi looks, which I will after she will become the good witch. Also, going to university or staying in the same household, going to university is winning by five votes against three. So, we will go to university as soon as that kid ages up. Now, actually, <laughs> I'm doing quite a nonsense in here because I was going to buy her a toy and make her use that machine so she would get all happy and stuff, so, yeah. buy her brother a toy she becomes all happy now she can go and use this that's how I managed to finish everything in time the last time by the way and her money mother goes and uh, takes a bath which is good Okay, also more pine trees. We have quite a lot already, but still. Now, what we need would be a room just for our new household witch. Now I'm actually thinking of how to put in one. Hmm. First go to live mode. Cancel out this one. Okay, now move both of the books somewhere over here. Make her study in here. And then by a staircase leading up again. Ceiling too low. Alright, I forgot to take off the roof. Well, okay. Because, like, they're going to university, but still, teenage should have its own room. Hmm. Wanted to look quite different. There we go. That is going to be our young white witch's room. Daytime so I could see better. Everything is going to be nice and, well, friendly looking the way a true white witch would want it to be. She is after all the good witch. We need some windows now. Actually the roof can go back on. Whee! That's one hell of a tower. Now we will need windows that would match up with the house and with her being the white wedge. Frosty windows would look kind of silly down up there. Down there, yeah. Because that's so totally down. What if I would take exactly the same construction, but change the colors? Mm, nope. Dreamy big windows.
that just look kind of weird. This one would look just right. And it provides more light like a true white wedge would want it to be. Yay! There we go. Now we have a windowed place. Means that we need, would need to paint that place. Something nice. Looked weird. Something preferably not pink. Hmm. Hmm. I would actually construct her a dreamy place to be in, but that's kind of for kitty stuff. Something that would make the room look very, very light, and also wouldn't it, it would fit the windows well. This does actually. It's not as light as it could be, but still, this does fit the room and the mood of it. Now I want a giant rug to make it look less empty. That just looks stupid. That's a basketball place, not a rug. Hmm. That's too small. Maybe no rug is the way to go. Anyways, she deserves something that would look dreamy, like you would expect in a good witch's place. Hmm. Would that like be dreamy enough? Actually, I think it would, but just try out other opportunities and things, not to miss out stuff. Looks like an evil pl witch's place, so I'm sticking with my first scenario of this. Yay! Now, something fluffy to once again make sure that she looks like a true good witch, even though I'm pretty sure a real good witch wouldn't try so much to make her look that good. She would know herself that she's a good witch. That's just tasteless. Okay, she would look royal with that. That just looks like we are designing a room for a five-year-old. This fits. Now for cupboards. Those little things next to a bed. Something that we will use all of the decorative things that would make us think that we're not in a hotel later. cute desk. Or 
actually a little bit too high because I do want it to be under here. Besides, she is sort of a grown-up by now. So she would sort of need to live like one. I will actually make a chair, because you can have a good wedge later. As well as lamp. Somewhere in here it's going to be her cauldron. Somewhere over here there's going to be her bookcase. Not her bookcase, but well, her reading book or whatever. The ultimate witch's tr treasure. She still needs a dressing thingy. Now this place looks like it's designed for granny. Which is better than what I started with. So in here it's the witch's thingy. In here, there's going to be the cauldron. Could put a wind mirror down there. Window. Yeah. She has enough windows by now. Looks weird. Wrong style of the thingy. Definitely. Elsewhere. Like, for instance, over here. Actually, over here. Yep, it's perfect in there. Now, for a little bit of plant life. Now, for lots of light, for a light witch. Come on, react to me. Good, good. There we go. Now her cauldron thingy is going to be standing over here, just like I planned. It's like that for now. Now... Get away from your book for a little while. Going to be moving the book up. That didn't sound too good. Oh well. Buck will be in here. There we go. Perfect! Now he should wake up. And actually, for you, I think you should check your spells. Because, as I remember, there was one ability to turn a friend into foe. Which would be what we would be using. Neutral evil. Attack to Sim. 